Oh wait, never mind, that was easy. Okay, so let's do number six and 7.1. So, Ayla, since this is easy, what did you do? You, um, okay, wait. I, I know you can explain it better probably. You just did my I would not explain that any differently. Okay. So first things first, you want to get y squared by itself, right? Yeah. So let's divide by 11. So you get y squared is? Did you guys not know there were two Alas in here? I'm not weird. I didn't know she was. It's super weird. What do you get? Y squared is? 100. 100. Oh, and then you do y equals plus or minus the square root of Oh, nice. You remember the plus or minus. What's the square root of 100? 10. 10. Okay, so that would be way easier than that. So this was plus or minus square root to both sides? Yeah. Am I done? You do the two different problems. Awesome. Yeah. So I want you guys to write your answers as y is 10 or y is minus 10. After the first test, you can just write plus or minus. But up to the first test, I want to see the both of them. So all of this? Question? What's the only confusing thing about this problem? Europeans use commas to mean decimal points. Be careful. 